Hi everyone, it's Peter Zeller, I'm Screeny Flix Adventure 8 and today I'm going to be talking about the iPhone 12 video and some of the challenges with the setting, the, the high, def, high dynamic range HDR versus the standard dynamic range SDR and some of the challenges you have if you're doing video editing using Final Cut Pro. You'll get a message that comes up in your timeline, and I'll go through that, and it's a pain in the neck. It uh, creates all sorts of weird different color combinations, well, extremes I should say, and it, how do you handle this and how do you get over it? What's a, what are some workarounds in order to be able to do your video editing, mixing the high definition videos with the standard definition videos? Hmm. Anyway, let's get into it and I'll show you what I've discovered and hopefully that will help you as well. When you turn on your phone here and we go to settings, eventually scroll down to camera and in camera you've got format and you've got two settings here. You can use high efficiency and also most compatible. I'm not sure whether you can actually read this, but it says to reduce file size, capture photos and videos in high efficiency, H-E-I-F slash H-E-V-C format. Most compatible will always use JPEG H264, 4K at 60 frames per second, 1080p at 240 frames per second. And it says here, HDR video requires high efficiency. So if you're gonna film in HDR, then you need to be in this high efficiency format. All right, the other choice here is to actually select most compatible, which means with the iPhone, you will be filming in JPEG or JPEG images and H.264 video. So that produces two different types of videos depending whether you're high efficiency or most compatible. Um, I've, I've done some filming in high efficiency and also done some filming in most compatible and let's see what happens when you import these images or these videos into Final Cut Pro. Okay, I've opened up Final Cut Pro. We have version 10.5. I've just called this video library uh, Greenyflex SDR, so Standard Dynamic Range. And we've got uh, the movie I'm making here is the iPhone 12 movie HDR versus SDR. I've got two clips here that I'll start with. Um, this one here was recorded in Standard Definition Range and this one here was recorded using the iPhone High Definition Range. So if I just drag this to the timeline, so this is a standard definition, so you can see that it's just what you would expect to see. It's um, the, the colors are normal. If I go to another section of video here, you can see that's what you would expect to see. Uh, all right, so that's fine. Uh, now, this is the other video that I record, but this was recorded in this high efficiency mode on the phone. Now, can you see much difference in the thumbnail is actually recorded correctly. So you can see here, you don't see much difference in the videos. They look okay, so this one might have a bit more vibrant here in the thumbnail. But let's see what happens when we actually drag this down into the timeline. So far so good, but as soon as I let go, this message comes up. Adding HDR clip to SDR project. Bright contents will be clipped in this project. To adjust the image's brightness, apply the color correction effect or apply the HDR tool effects to this clip. Um, so you press OK and look what happens. This HDR clip is absolutely burnt out. 
So the standard clip here is fine. The HDR clip is absolutely burnt out and it goes absolutely crazy. Up here you've got a couple icons and to adjust the color it's this one here the show color inspector and uh, you've got color saturation exposure all right so high dynamic range and standard dynamic range is to do with the exposure mainly and let's see whether we can adjust this clip and the exposure so we've we've got the highlights burnt out so we'll try and bring the highlights back down and probably the dark areas have been exaggerated so we'll bring that up a bit and uh, and we'll bring the exposure down a little bit what this is showing is that by mucking about with these sliders and what I find is that if you're trying to change this high dynamic range clip then in the exposure this is what you need to do as a quick fix take the dark areas and make them less dark take the bright areas and make them less bright and reduce the overall exposure and then you get an image which isn't too far off what the standard definition is standard dynamic range is so that's one way to adjust it so if you're using a standard definition range timeline and you're putting in some of these iPhone 12 high efficiency HDR clips then you can adjust the HDR clip using the exposure to bring it in line with the rest of the timeline so then when you bring in other clips so this is uh, a photo for example then everything seems fine and some other photos this is all standard definition these photos were taken with the iPhone 12 as well and um, they all go into the standard t timeline that's fine so okay so that's one way of handling it now let's look at the same situation and um, if we change this actual timeline from standard definition range to high definition range and I'll show you what I mean by that change the timeline from standard definition range to high definition range there's a couple of ways of doing this we go to your library that you're working in and you come across to the right hand side here so this is to do with library properties and you see modify here you click on there and you can see that now you're given an option to change your timeline from the standard which is standard uh, dynamic range to wide gamut high dynamic range so I won't do that now straight away what I'll do is I'll, I'll clear the timeline that I have here and uh, I'll delete all the clips so we can start afresh alright so we'll just delete all those so now we've got a fresh timeline but this timeline is still in standard definition so if we just go back here and we'll go modify and we'll change your timeline to wide gamut HDR all right so before when we imported this um, HDR clip that's this one here it got all washed out now we import it into the timeline and it says adding a HDR clip we saw that same message there before but now this whole timeline is in HDR so you can see that we're actually getting as the clip was recorded into the timeline which is all very nice but what happens now if you start importing standard definition clips into the same timeline so remember the timeline now is high definition range high dynamic range and now we're going to be putting in a standard dynamic range clip this one here and 
it goes dark. All right, and if we add photos now, those photos also dark. And we'll add some of these photos here. They are all dark. So now we've got this compatibility, compatibility issue again. We've got the timeline in HDR, a high dynamic range, but the clips um, are basically in, in I suppose you call it uh, standard definition, standard dynamic range, including the video here, which makes them all dark. So here we've got a choice. We can either convert this timeline back to standard dynamic range, in which case we have to then manually adjust the high dynamic range video clip. So we've got one clip to change. Or we have to change all of these standard, standard dynamic range clips to suit the timeline. So the timeline is set at HDR and all these other clips are standard SDI, standard dynamic range. All right, when we were adjusting the high dynamic range clip previously in the SDR range, we were putting the sliders dark, making things less dark and, and brightness less bright. Here, now we've got dark clips so we're keeping this timeline as HDR. Now we're using the inspector up here, um, we're going to change. We can again accommodate this by changing your exposures to match up the dynamic ranges, I suppose, the exposures and everything. So we've got a dark clip here, which means we've got to bring up the highlights. We make uh, the black's a bit blacker, but here we bring up the exposure. And uh, again, you can sort of experiment with this to see whether you got too much uh, contrast or whatever. So now we've got uh, the, again, the timeline is in HDR. We've got this original clip here in HDR. And now we've modified using these sliders in the exposure to even up the exposure. And we get a nice exposure here for the clip. So basically what I'm showing you is how to mix these HDR clips and the standard SDR clips from the iPhone 12 into one timeline. But you have to specify whether this timeline is going to be in HDR or SDR. And if you start mixing these clips, then you're going to have to adjust the exposure of the clips appropriately to, pin, to make sure that the colors line up. So same thing here with the um, photographs we use do the same approach. Once you can see that, uh, what I find is that you just have a straight line across here on a diagonal, the light going up, dark going down. If I'm changing the SDR into a HDR timeline and bring the exposure level up to about the same level as this highlight here. And you could bring the colors back to where they were originally in the photograph. So you've got to choose how many clips you got in HDR and how many clips you got in SDR so you're not making adjustments left, right and centre unnecessarily. Alternatively, always shoot in one format so you don't have to do this extra step in the editing which will save you a lot of time as well. Well, I hope this has uh, helped you, given, uh, if, if this has been frustrating for you, <laughs> let me know. It would be interesting to know whether it's just me that sort of discovered this or whether anybody else has been facing this issue as well. And now whether there will be an automatic fix that comes along in, um, in Final Cut Pro to accommodate the iPhone 12 and make it all automated, time will tell. But anyway, so for now, that's the answer, is if you're mixing clips, HDR clips with um, SDR clips, video clips from your iPhone 12 into one timeline on the Final Cut Pro, decide whether you're going to use the high definition, high dynamic range timeline or the standard dynamic range timeline, and then adjust the clips accordingly, whether you have to have the, um, the sliders like this, if you're changing a standard 
SDR clip to HDR timeline or vice versa the other way around. Well, I hope this has been useful. I know it was frustrating for me to work this one out and uh, thank God for YouTube and a few other videos I looked at to see uh, what's a workaround or, or get some ideas of actually how to approach this. I hope you like, do like, thumbs up and um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Cheers. Thank you.